Haneda Airport, one of the two major airports that service Tokyo, the other being Narita Airport. So if you're looking for info on that one, do check out our video guide to Narita. But in this video, we're going to learn all about how to get from Haneda Airport into Tokyo City. Let's get into it. If you're booked to fly into Haneda Airport, you're in luck. Unlike Narita, which is located outside Tokyo, Haneda is relatively close to the city, so you won't need to spend a lot of time or money getting to your destination. Transport options to and from Haneda Airport include taxis, buses, and trains, with public transport running from around 5 in the morning until midnight. If you're arriving late, check out our late night transfers article to see what your options are. For those arriving at a regular hour, the cheapest transport is the train. But if you have a lot of luggage, it might not necessarily be the most convenient, especially during peak hour. So in this guide, we'll start with the most convenient and best value options and make our way down to the cheapest. For the best value and convenience, our top pick is the airport limousine bus. This service goes directly to many major train stations and hotels around Tokyo, with each passenger allowed two pieces of luggage up to 30 kilos each. Prices and times vary depending on your destination, but in general, a one-way ticket costs around 1,300 yen and the journey will take about an hour. Tickets can be booked either online or at the airport. If arriving at Terminal 3, visit the bus ticket counter next to the arrival gate or opposite that are the bus ticket machines where you can book tickets in English and pay using cash, credit card, or an IC card. For destinations such as Yokohama, Kamakura, or others that the airport limousine bus may not service, you can use the limousine buses provided by the company KQ. These will set you back a similar amount but cannot be booked in advance. You'll need to buy these at the bus ticket counter or ticket machines on the day. Once you've booked your tickets for either of these services, head down to the first floor to catch your bus. If traveling in a group, another convenient option is to hire a taxi. The taxi stand is located on the first floor, and while not the cheapest option, there are some cost-saving services you can make use of. Haneda Airport offers taxis with flat rate fares to select locations around Tokyo. This means you'll be able to confirm the set fare before starting your trip. These taxis are available from the taxi stand at Terminal 3. But to ensure you're taking a flat rate taxi rather than a metered one, visit the information desk in front of the arrival gate where the staff can help confirm the price and route. Another option is pre-booked taxis. With prices starting from around 12,000 yen per car, these can be a good choice if traveling in a big group with a lot of luggage. Alternatively, if you're by yourself and want the convenience of a taxi without breaking the bank, a cheaper option is the shared pre-booked taxi, with prices starting from around 5,800 yen per person. See the links in the video description to book these taxis online. For the cheapest transport options, two trains run from Haneda Airport, the Tokyo Monorail and the KQ Line. From the arrival gate at Terminal 3, simply walk straight ahead and the gates for the monorail and KQ line will be on your left and right respectively. For 500 yen, the monorail will take you as far as Hamamatsucho Station, where you can change to the Yamanote line or Kehin Tohoku line to reach your final destination. To pay for the monorail, you can use either an IC card such as Suica or paper tickets. You can buy paper tickets at the ticket machines next to the monorail gate. However, to purchase the correct ticket, you'll need to figure out the fare amount from the train fare map. There are usually staff around to help, but it's not super easy. So we instead recommend setting up a Suica card on your phone beforehand or purchasing the welcome Suica at the ticket machines. For more information about the Suica card, a super handy prepaid transport card in Japan, check out our video on the topic. For 300 yen, the KQ line will get you to Shinagawa Station in 11 minutes on the fastest train, where you can transfer to a number of convenient lines, including the Yamanote line. Unlike the monorail, the KQ line operates in two directions, north into Tokyo and south to Yokohama, so just be careful and check you're getting on the right train. 
if you're going to Asakusa, you're in luck. There's an express train leaving around every 15 minutes that will take you all the way there with no transfers. Similar to the monorail, you can pay for the KQ line using paper tickets or an IC card. If you don't have an IC card yet, you can pick up a Pasmo passport at the KQ Tourist Information Center next to the ticket machines. This card functions almost identically to the Welcome Suica we mentioned earlier, so getting either one is fine. The final thing to know about the trains is that while they're cheap, they can be tricky to navigate if you have a lot of luggage. Both the monorail and KQ line trains have small luggage spaces, but they can fill up quickly when busy. Also, if you're transferring onto other train lines once in Tokyo, these will be your regular trains that can get very busy, especially during rush hour. So it can be worth considering other transport options as well. Hope you have a safe flight to Tokyo. Do make sure to subscribe so you can get more videos about Tokyo and Japan. See you in the next one.